Dateline, Chicago. With Ricky the Regrind behind bars, Carrie authorities try to run up the rest of his gang. Why am I back here again? You're here, you little snitch, because I know Ricky the Regrind wasn't in this alone, and you're gonna tell me exactly who his accessory was. You understand me? Now tell me, who's this character here? That's Sally Semi-Automatic. I heard he's been closing a lot of pails these days. Maybe to keep him quiet around town, huh? How about this one here? That's Harry the Heater. He's been like summertime the way he's been bringing heat on. Now what's his deal? Ah, his business. It's simple. Innocent. He keeps product as warm as needed. Innocent, huh? Now what about this guy here? Gary the Gamma Seal. He'll seal up anybody. Well, you know, it says in his record that he transforms a standard pail into an easy-to-use, airtight, and threaded container. Yeah, I wouldn't double-cross that guy. Now, how about these two? Lucky's Label Gang. I hear they got a mastermind over there that can take care of the whole thing. No, no, no. The Label Gang is a bunch of guys that will lay on the label. The crime has been taken care of. Just one guy. All right, Snitch. This is Johnny the Bucket Buster. What can you tell me about him? Yeah, this guy opens up five-gallon standard and UN-rated plastic pails. I think he might have something to do with Ricky, but I am not certain. Okay, okay, I'm certain. He's been working closely with Ricky, busting heads. Hey, Jack, put out a warrant for this bucket buster fella. I think he might be our guy. I have a feeling this is it. Feeling? I just told you. He's the guy. And so, the city's brief problem with the legal packaging ended once and for all, thanks to Detective Jim Dima. Case closed. Or is it?